Hello and welcome dear friends, it's me Odo and we are back in our campaign of EU4 where we <coughs> um, just spent all our money on manufactories and workshops and some more ships um, I was looking around and I think we should do a bit less aggressive stuff because um, we need to convert a lot of things and get our um, our land into the protestant world and uh, yeah do stuff to get more protestantism around we probably should have waited a bit longer but on the other hand it's probably best in this in best interest to do it because now we have the Stettin Protestant Center of Reformation which does some conversions and we are doing conversions already I'm not sure if we should take Brandenburg or Muscovy as a um, rival. I mean, it's easier to get to war with Muscovy, but on the other hand, Brandenburg is much, much weaker. So we'll take Brandenburg. This will probably lead to the end of the alliance with Austria because we rivaled one of their allies stop what's that Luca? Reclaim Luca. I was also thinking we could go to war with all these little one province miners like Luca to convert them to Protestantism. This would lead us to a war with all these. They are not too strong and we would ha would have uh, England to help us the biggest problem will be to get there <laughs> but probably England will do this and then we had Luca the Knights Savoy Milan and Bosnia we could convert all them all of them to Protestantism Or how about Siena? Oof, this would be harder because we would have been at war with Aragon. But Aragon is only a shadow of its former glory. Do they even have... yeah, they still have Naples. In a personal union. But England wouldn't help with them. Probably not the best option. How about you? We would fight the Pope and Venice. Just the Pope and Venice. Hmm. So, do we have it? No, we don't have something on them. We should try to get a claim on Milan as well. But that's not so easy. Okay, 
you were probably really Finland is allied with Austria hmm. how to get a claim on Milan we could do a claim on Ferrara and on Milan afterwards how about declaring war on Ferrara Bohemia, Switzerland, Siena Bohemia would be great because we could humiliate them in a peace deal hmm yeah let's let's fabricate the claim on you we just have this for 73 months so it will be enough time and we probably also fabricate on Milan after we got the claim on Florence oh this is protestant really why is this protestant interesting this must have been a Our first Protestant. Granted Admiral Ship and General Ship. Ooh. Probably should give them some land. There is a Gotland, there is a center of trade, isn't there? Yeah. Let's give this to the burgers. Let's get some money from them. Let's do the next one. Lübeck. Why can't we do Göringe? Because we built there something. Yup. Uh, we have there this. And in these two, we built something. So let's. Here. One point four percent unity is okay. It's okay.
My center of reformation is not stopping after we've got this, so that's good. That's good. Separatists will rise. Nava Uzer Dopat. Why Uzel? Why not Reval? Uh, let's go to Uzel because if they rise there, it's it's stupid because we have this crossing to take. Better they rise here. Also, here we have a uh hmm, we could get rid of them without fighting. Let's do this without fighting. So, this is the last one, this free the core. Great. Discipline plus 5%, modern siege weapons. Yup. Now our sieges will be even better. What do we need to form Scandinavia? Hmm. It doesn't need we don't need that much anymore. Zealand. Which is Protestant already. There is a trick I found out, which we could do, because we can, like, we put all our manpower in one province then we don't have any manpower, then we click here, we don't lose manpower, and then we get back all our manpower. But, speaking of the devil, we need some... We will do some one primary... Um, Tech stack so like six cannons is good, I believe. Twenty four thousand troops. Yeah, I think that's okay. Popular religion attempt to root out the syncretism. I don't have this running. Uh, wh what is this? 
There has always been some discrepancy between the religion actually taught and defended by the clergy and the actual faith of the people in the provinces. Most of the time the differences are small enough that the clergy chooses to ignore them to instead focus on reinforce the more orthodox spiritual ideas of the people. It seems, however, that certain ideas that are quite unorthodox, if rooted in old traditions, have begun to spread together with the Protestant faith among our non-Protestant subjects. The resulting mix of old heathen ideas, popular superstitions and the actual Protestant itself has been quite too much for the clergy to stomach even if it seems to have made conversion a much more attractive proposition for our hidden subjects. Ah, okay, we can gain... Better let this run out its course. We can gain missionary strength, but we will lose loyalty and influence of the clergy. Or we can gain loyalty and influence of the clergy and get plus one tolerance of true faith. Yeah, well, we will take the missionary strength. We want to do this really fast. So, Scarnerland gets a no edict there. Lübeck is the next. Converted seven months, that's okay. Wismo is converted by Stettin. That's great. You are doing fine, my dear. Centers of Reformation. Let's go to speed 10, uh, 5. Which rebels? Estonian rebels, yeah. Why? No! Why again? What happened? Why did this happen? Why is it now? Oh. Religious unity is going up. We now have 29% religious unity. Yay! So, how much do we get there? We get 0 0.28 each month. Ah, because the clergy is unhappy with us. Probably shouldn't have done this, but we could give them generous donation. should go better. Oh yeah, much better. Hmm. Uh, 
69% yeah we have 31% religious unity this should get better yeah every day better like also here yeah yeah great war on Hungary again. Last time they lost. <laughs> Even though we um, sent them Condottieri that did do something. This was really good because they paid a lot of money. We got really rich then. Good. Great. You're now part of my country. So act like it and like me. <laughs> nah, probably it was the <laughs> probably the troops were too expensive. could mothball the forts or we could well we should turn down the army maintenance a bit or what we could do would be cheaper advisors hmm. don't know or we should go to war Take war taxes. Ah, I forgot the war taxes in the last war. What's that? National tax modifier minus 10. Nobility gains loyalty or lose stab and lose loyalty. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, why not? Yay! So, what's next? Leafland. Leafland Riga. Ah, stop, 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 stop. Stupid. Let's clean Palma. And... Obara. Or... Yeah, anyway. So let's see which wars could be done down there. Probably it best it would be best if we could start a war where we could get like Bohemia or uh, Brandenburg inside the war and get some of these people helping us. 
So there England wouldn't help. And Poland still has a debt. How about Milan? There England would help. And we would have to fight Liege, Luca and Savoy. Seems reasonable. Where is Liege? Where is Liege? This is a member of the Holy Roman Empire, isn't it? Yep. Great. So we could convert a member of the Holy Roman Empire, we could convert Luca, and we could convert Milan, probably. Yeah, why not? Also, England would get some work to do. I mean, why do we have him anyway? Is this a stupid idea? Probably. Uh, probably. So, England, how about you siege out this? We should have done this first, <laughs> transported our troops down there. Okay. Let's do this. That's a thing that could probably help, but... To get to Liege, we need to go through all these countries. We hope that Liege or other countries would get us the right to go through. stay here
let's improve relations with you. Ah, stop it! Why do you go on? Let's take this guy. And take this guy. Does England do anything down there? Probably not. So let's let's knock out Liege first. Do we have access through Lithuania but not through Poland? They are a personal union. So if I get access there, why why can't I get access here? That's stupid. We breached the walls. Good. Uh, we could take admin tech early. I really don't want to. Where can we use admin tech as well? somewhere like changing the government or something but this is a thing this is also a DLC I don't have probably guys are going there. So now we 
we can go there. Oh, we can go to Savoyan. Great. Let's go there. So let's do Livland next. Also, here we don't need this anymore. Yay! More blue for the world. What is England doing? So what's that? Bible translated. A priest in Nava has translated the Bible into our language, which is Swedish, <laughs> and has started to distribute copies of it to nearby villages throughout Nava. Heresy burned the priest and his books. Great news, spread this Bibles far and wide. Wait, what? Religion in Nava changes to Protestant. Yeah, that's it. That's what we wanted. Oh, there is some English troops. Where are they going? You know you've got boats, British people. You could use them. <laughs> I mean, I don't use them either, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more funny to tell you to use them. Yeah, we don't need this anymore. Let's send them to outraged people. Why did you have a disease outbreak here? Yay. England is... Yeah, wait. What? You know what? Siege out Savoyan. And don't siege out them. Okay. Let's just do this. Really? With 1,000 troops you got into there? <laughs> yeah, this guy is 
Uh, this is the secondary siege stack. Yay. Can we go down here? Nope. We need ships. Let's knock uh, Savoyan second out of the war. Nope, we don't do this. We wait until we are outside his lands. Ah, Savoyan came here and is now sieging out British lands. That's great. That's really great. So, what do we want? We want you to change our religion, but you can't. This would cost us too much, really. Then let's do it like that. I mean, should we force him to spit out some country? Nah. This costs us diplo points, and we really don't get anything out of it. Uh, we have rivalries that will bring us some let's do it like that Okay, so we lost our access through Castile because of them. So let's go to Vaud, take Vaud, and then go with them to Vaud to get unblack flagged. Hmm. Yay, another conversion of heretics. Abo and Gotland. So first of all, let's get you back home. Let's start here. Let's do Abu first. We probably won't be able to force religion on Lu on, on Savoyan as well. The Parliament of Vosterosh. We gain money and <laughs> national unrest. Okay. Conversion successful. Converted to Protestant because of... Uh, 
now now it would be probably okay because um, we are now only one of the only Protestant countries at the moment so no one would get us into a war and we would get uh, and we would get all of the other stuff what would we get? higher technology cost blah yearly prestige plus one monthly war exhaustion minus open ah war exhaustion good that you said something like that because this costs us nothing and will save us a lot of money oh, two and a half targets a month so back to you Earl of Armies. I mean, we don't fight anyway, but we get one missionary. This would also be great. Yeah, let's let's become defender of the faith. Mm. And let's start to. these other things like Newland They tell us Protestantism entrenched. With Protestantism taking over in more and more Catholic countries, there are fewer people who observe Lent. Without that 40 days when any proper Catholic cannot eat meat and is forced to eat fish. Hunt for fish is plummeting. <laughs> really? Yep. Nice. Okay, my dear friends, I think I've uh, I've played s some time now, so we will just stop for today. Ah, I will have to think about my admin power admin points anyway. I don't want to take tech early, especially as I don't have colonialism. <laughs> Oh, I could do development, though. Hmm. Okay, until then, my dear friends, I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Uh, bye.